Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Pigmaster6373. My trimmer that you repaired in December for me just died on my fourth weekend of trimming. Suddenly stopped in the middle of trimming and will not restart. More than an hour on since repair. Can you not fix? Remington RM2520. I can drop off if that works for you. Well, it worked four times. I hope you can understand that it will not be a discounted rate. I believe last time it blew out the plastic crank seal. I would check if it did that again if you are capable. Because if it did that, I wouldn't bother getting it repaired again. In all likelihood, it will just do it again and again. Wow, if you really expected or thought that it would likely only work for an hour, then of course I wouldn't have spent $50 to get it fixed. That would be very poor business ethics. To not stand behind your work or at least inform the customer that there was a likelihood that the repair would, in all likelihood, would just do it again and again, is at best dishonest and at worst, fraud. I will put out the word on you. Take a course on business ethics. I got my $50 lesson, but will do my part to prevent you from scamming someone else. Listen man, I had no idea how long it would last. I did the same repair any shop would do for half the price. I replaced the broken part. I'm trying to be honest with you and tell you if the same thing broke again, it's probably going to break again. I had no idea the first time that it would continue to fail. If I knew that, I would have absolutely told you. Interesting that you now admit in these text messages that it would likely fail. Yeah, didn't tell me. Of course I wouldn't have got it repaired if I didn't think it would make it at least a season or two and then not stand behind your work is just really poor business. Do you want to talk on the phone about this? I think you are misunderstanding. No, I was excited that a young man was starting a new business and would likely be successful, but I have changed my mind. Anyone who does small engine repair and doesn't stand behind the work will not have a lasting business. Goodbye. I'd say the fact that they got the trimmer to work for four weekends says a lot. It says that they actually repaired what was broken and unfortunately it broke again. And I think they're being honest at this point that if the exact same thing broke, it's probably going to keep doing it. This next one is by actually has problems. Does anyone have a cheap box of Rice Krispies? I'm craving Rice Krispies. Bad. <laughs> oh yeah, can you drop them to me? I live on the south side. I can pay back on Thursday next to the person who does this for me. <laughs> I'm still hungry. Has anybody ever heard of Rice Krispiest? I, I, I don't think I've ever heard of Rice Krispiest. I've heard of Rice Krispie treats and Rice Krispies, but never Rice Krispiest. Definitely would explain why they're still hungry. This next one is from Tom Litt. Need someone to trim this and take away the waste. Paint all the fence and move the rubbish at the bottom. Easy 80 pounds for someone. Why is it that people literally think of just the labor at their home? Do they not think about the labor that this person's gonna have to do to go and dump all this shit on top of it? This next one is by Conjo1999. Looking to hire a responsible female teen or young adult for the summer. One to two days a week to be a caregiver for our kiddos. Daytime only, no more than four hours. Job description, transport kiddos to and from swimming pool, library, local activities as planned out with advanced communication. Job requirements, must have a valid driver's license, must have a working cell phone, you must have three references, must have knowledge of basic first aid and CPR, or be willing to get a crash course with me. No alcohol use, drug use, inappropriate language tolerated. Starting pay would be $25 cash a day. We'll certainly consider a raise as time goes on. Main focus will be on a four-year-old girl. Also make sure their brother doesn't die from the hands of his two preteen sisters. 
This position will require you to focus on the kiddos and hands-on activities, not your phone, not a boyfriend, and certainly not letting the big kids watch TV all day. <laughs> Serious inquiries only. Please PM to set up for interview. Based on the description of this $25 a day, I would assume that it should be bumped up considering they're not just focusing on the 4 year old girl, they also have to make sure that their brother doesn't die as well as make sure that the preteen sisters don't sit on the TV all day. A lot more work than just watching one kid. This next one is from The Bulgarian Diver. $250, rent a room. Can I have it for $100 a month if we have sex whenever you want? Sex! If somebody's willing to sleep with somebody to get a discount on something, you can almost bet they've been around. This next one is by Totally Not Brian 22 Alright everyone, I have four weekly passes to the PGA Championship, given to me by a very generous tour member. Very, very cool. Let's find some people that might not be able to normally go. We will pay for any incidentals. Reply below if you know someone who would love to go. How generous! The night before the tournament starts! Explain. This damn tournament starts tomorrow! You did a piss poor job of planning! Whether it's the night before, the night of, a week prior to, it still doesn't detract from the fact of what these people are doing but we know this beggar isn't contributing anything, outside of contributing their complaining. This next one is from Saigep Mike. In search of personal chef for our family meals, daily dinners as well as weekend breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Half the family is vegetarian. We are local and look forward to having someone help create healthy, customized meals. We cannot pay, but the pro bono experience you'll gain with Picky Eaters will be priceless and look great on your resume. Plus, if we like what you cook, we'll give you a great recommendation. Because when people are searching for a personal chef, the first thing they want to see is what kind of pro bono experience they have on their resume. <laughs> Talk about a deluded beggar. This next one is by Whistlewink. Looking for a reliable painting company. I need someone to paint my 1800 square foot home. My budget is $250 and I need it done by Saturday. Only hiring companies with four and a half plus star reviews. No smoking or eating lunch on my property. No loud music while you paint. You're here to work. Act like it. Act professional and earn my business and you'll get referrals from me in the future. This could be a great opportunity for someone who conducts themselves in a great way. This beggar would be best taking that $250, investing in paint and painting their own fucking house because if they want to put all of these restrictions on things, they need to act like a professional customer and understand that business isn't cheap. And our final one is by Mars Hill Monster. Alright, listen, I'm in Beggarsville. I don't know how to say this without sounding like a tool, but here goes. I'm 44 years old and have been writing music since the age of 14. I play any instrument, but started on the drums. I'm a vastly talented musician, but have never got to showcase it because of prison time and events in my life that led to poor decisions. I'm ready to record my magnus opus. The title is The Trivial Nature of Human Suffering. It is unlike anything ever heard. I promise you that with everything that is in me. I need a creative partner to record and mix. When it hits, I will share everything I make 50-50 with whomever will help me. This masterpiece of my life's work, it needs to be recorded. It's huge. If you want to be a part of it, let's do it. I probably have about 34 hours of written music with orchestrated vocals. What is it with people thinking that a studio is going to believe in your music enough to fork out the time or money to record your music when you don't even believe in it enough to fork out the money to record it? If you aren't willing to pay to record it, why should someone else be willing to? If it was guaranteed to be a success, you wouldn't be willing to sign over half of the rights for it. I'm not saying it isn't great, but a recording studio isn't a bank. 
Yeah, no reason. You're grumpy. I'm telling you now the material I've written is mind-bending. Thanks anyway. Good luck squeezing those pennies. If you really believe in the material you're writing, why not save up your money and invest in yourself? What style of music are we talking? It's different. Comparable to all my influences in ways by strangely unique, there's nothing I can compare it to. Maybe Shakespeare, H.P. Lovecraft, The Hunter of the Dark, Ancient Esoteric Scripture, a little Pantera, and a little J. Cole, maybe. Do you play the skin flute? That last comment is gold, but all of them really have a point. If this beggar truly believed in their own music and believed it could go somewhere, I don't understand why they can't pay to record their music. Hell, I don't even understand why, if it's so fantastic, they can't go and buy a microphone and record it themselves and then submit it. I don't know. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.